Meta's AI code Llama is making serious waves on the internet. This impressive tool can create and talk about code through text prompts, and it is so advanced that it blows other AI models out of the water. Today, we're going to dive into Code Llama and talk about its features. We will also see why it stands out from other AI tools and how it is transforming the AI landscape. But before that, welcome to the AI Trend, your go-to destination for all things AI. We are dedicated to bringing you the latest developments, breakthroughs, and releases in artificial intelligence technology. Without further delay, let's get started. According to a blog post released by Meta, Code Llama is a large language model that was specifically trained to handle coding tasks. It is built on top of Llama 2, which is Meta's general purpose language model that can handle text, images, and other modalities. Code Llama specializes in generating and discussing code from both code and natural language prompts. For instance, you can ask it to write code to perform a specific function or to explain what a piece of code does. It can also help you to complete any piece of code that you are working on and also debug by inserting code into existing scripts or finding errors in your code. Code Llama supports the most popular programming languages used today, such as Python, C++, Java, PHP, and so much more. It can also handle up to 100,000 tokens of context, which means it can work with large and complex code bases. This is a huge improvement over many of the existing AI models that can only handle a few thousand tokens at most. One really interesting thing here is that Meta released three sizes of Code Llama named 7B, 13B, and 34B parameters. Each of these models have been trained with 500 billion tokens of code and code-related data. Now, if you have an idea of how AI models work, you already know that bigger is always better. But there is a catch. You see, the bigger the model, the slower the speed. For instance, the 7B model can be served on a single GPU, while the 34B model requires a supercomputer, and the 13B model needs something in between. But that's not all. Meta has also created two additional variations of Code Llama, named Code Llama Python and Code Llama Instruct. Code Llama Python is a model that was trained on Python code, only making it more suitable for Python developers and learners. This is because Python is one of the most widely used coding languages out there. Code Llama Instruct, on the other hand, is fine-tuned for understanding natural language prompts better. So, you can ask it to perform a coding task in simple language, and it will figure out what you mean and produce the right code for you. One of the coolest features of Code Llama is its fill-in-the-middle or FIM capability that lets you add code to what you've already written without having to remove or replace any of it. This feature comes in handy when you need to finish a part of your code without changing everything else. So, let's just say you made a function to add two numbers but forgot to put in the part that gives back the result. You can get Code Llama to complete that part for you with FIM. As you already know, Code Llama is not the first AI model that can generate code. So, how does it compare to the other AI models out there? The main competitors to Code Llama are ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot Chat. ChatGPT is powered by OpenAI's GPT 3.5 model, and GitHub Copilot Chat runs on the Codex model for context. Codex is a large language model from OpenAI, and it is trained using code from GitHub. Both ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot Chat are great at generating and discussing code when giving text instructions, but they do have some limitations. For instance, they can only handle up to 2,048 tokens of context. This causes them to struggle with large or complex coding problems. Also, they sometimes make mistakes in accuracy and might produce unsafe code. Now, Code Llama outperforms both of these chatbots in several tests. One significant test is Human Eval. OpenAI developed this test to see how well a program can write code based on written descriptions called doc strings. A doc string is somewhat similar to a comment that tells you what a specific function or class in the code is supposed to do. The challenge is to generate code that matches the description perfectly on human eval. In the test, Code Llama solved 28.8% of the problems, while ChatGPT was unable to solve anything. 
and GitHub Copilot chat solved 11.4%. As you can see, Code Llama is way ahead of these two AI models. Code Llama also has a higher chance of generating factual and safe responses compared to ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot Chat as it has been trained using more human feedback and adversarial testing. Code Llama is pretty insane, but how does it compare to an advanced model like GPT-4? GPT-4 is currently the most advanced AI model on the planet and it clearly has some advantages over Code Llama. For instance, it can handle visual inputs while Code Llama cannot. It can also generate more creative and collaborative content such as songs, screenplays, or even learning a user's writing style. GPT-4 is undoubtedly powerful, but here's the thing. You see, GPT-4 was not specifically designed to handle coding problems, but that is what Code Llama is designed to do. In fact, GPT-4 only solves 18.6% of the problems, while Code Llama solves 28.8%. Code Llama also has some features that GPT-4 lacks, such as FIM capability and instruction fine-tuning. Also, it is much more accessible and implementable than GPT-4. Another thing I'd like to point out is the fact that Code Llama can run on local machines, while GPT-4 requires cloud-based servers. Code Llama is also free, and it does not require you to pay any fees to access it. Unlike GPT-4, you can use Code Llama as much as you want without experiencing any limits. Before we continue, there is something I want to talk about, and that is Unnatural Code Llama. This is an upcoming version of Code Llama that has been trained on a secret dataset of unnatural code. Unnatural code is code that is deliberately written in such a way that goes against the principles of coding, like using misleading variable names, omitting comments, or nesting loops too deeply. Now, you might be wondering, why would anyone train a model on unnatural code? Well, the idea here is to make the model more robust and adaptable to different coding styles. Unnatural code can also be used as a form of encryption, making the code harder to read or manipulate by humans and machines. Though the model is still in development, some leak results show that it can rival GPT-4's performance on various benchmarks. For instance, the model can pass a simulated bar exam with a score around the top 10% of test takers. GPT-4 score, on the other hand, was around the bottom 10%. It can also generate code that is similar to human written code. Unnatural Code Llama is an entire league of its own and it surpasses most of the AI models around. The best part is that it is now available via the Perplexity AI Labs website. You can interact with Code Llama through a web interface. You can also try the Code Llama Model 13B in the Code Llama Playground on Hugging Face. So, what are the potential and future implications of Code Llama? Well, to be honest, Code Llama is going to revolutionize coding forever. The AI model will undoubtedly be very useful for both new and experienced programmers. However, the AI is not flawless and it is far from being perfect. It still has a long way to go if it wants to stay at the forefront of the AI race. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date on the recent developments in the world of AI.